Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I will show you how to remove liquidity on PancakeSwap or in other words how to remove your LP tokens. So the first thing you want to do is to go over to PancakeSwap.Finance and then you want to connect your wallet by clicking right here in the top right. Now once your wallet is connected you simply want to go over to trade and click on liquidity. You'll then see a screen looking similar to this one and in most cases you'll see the liquidity pairs available right here. However, if you do have a liquidity pool of a custom token, for me it's DCR or DIPS, it will most likely not show up right here. So what you need to do, if you don't see your liquidity pool right here, is to go over to don't see a pool you joined, find other LP tokens. Then you want to select the first coin right here, and the second coin, so the custom coin, below your first coin. So just click on select a token, and you can then see that when I search for DCR, Right now it will show up, however before this, so a few minutes ago, it didn't. Now what you need to do is to click on manage tokens and then go over to tokens. Now please go over to coin market cap, go over to the search bar and search for the coin you would like to add or the coin you would like to remove your LP tokens from. Now once you're there, so once you're on this page, simply copy the contract or the wallet address and then go over to pancake swap and paste it in. You can then see that as of right now, these share has been added for me. So then just click on add right here. Now for me it says clear all, but you want to just click on add. Also quick note, there's a lot of people out there creating fake coins. So please double check if the market cap or the fully diluted market cap and or the volume are realistic. For example, if it's only a few thousand dollars, it's most likely not going to be the real coin. Because every single person out there can create their own coin, give it their own name and all of that kind of stuff. So once you've double checked the token, simply select it, I made a spelling error, and you can then see that the pool is found. Then you want to click on manage this pool, it's not really a button so be aware of that, it took me quite some time to figure this out, but just click on manage this pool, then you want to click right here, and click on remove. You can then select the amount, now for me it will be all of my money in DShare, and then you simply want to click on enable, You'll then get a MetaMask notification or any other wallet address and you want to click on sign. You'll then see that the remove button now is in color, so just click on remove and click on confirm. You'll then see the fees you're about to pay. If you're not sure how much it is, please just go over to Google and search for BNB to USDT. And you'll then see that I'm about to pay 70 cents in fees, which I think is fine. So I'll just go ahead and click on confirm and you can then see that your transaction has been submitted. So now we're just going to wait a few minutes and then when I go over to MetaMask and click on expand view, you will actually see that as of right now, I've got some BNB right here and I've also got DShare. So now if you're left with the tokens and you don't want to hold them, and for me that's the case, I don't want to hold on to these DShare tokens. So you're then going to go over to Dips or to any other website and then you simply want to click on the token. So right here it says buy DShare and you'll then be sent over to PancakeSwap if you're using a unlisted token. You can also go to PancakeSwap directly and simply go over to trade, click on exchange and then you want to search for one token right here. This is going to be the token you would like to convert or withdraw. So it's going to be DShare and then the token I would like to receive for me will be BNB. However this could also be Ethereum or Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. So I'll click on BNB then you want to fill in the amount. For me it's max and then you're simply going to click on swap. But before you do that, you can also change the slippage tolerance or slippage tolerance. So click on settings and then right here you can select the amount. In most cases 0.5% will do. However, there are some tokens that have a minimum of 10%. For example, SafeMoon. So now you just want to click on swap, confirm swap. And then once again, click on confirm. And you can now see that when I refresh my MetaMask account, I've got 0.22 BNB. So this is how to withdraw your LP token or how to remove liquidity on PancakeSwap. And just in case your PancakeSwap doesn't work, you can also click on swap on MetaMask and use this menu right here. It's less popular, however there's really not a downside. Just once again select DShare or any other cryptocurrency, select the token you'd like to receive, select the advanced options, so the slippage tolerance, and then simply fill in the amount. Now I've got zero left. But what you need to do is to just click on review swap and that's it. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies. 